What's up, everybody? I've, uh, I've already posted this video one time, but I'm making it again since my commentary didn't uh, didn't take in the video. So I'll be I'm gonna remake this. Um, I'm also gonna link in the comments uh, how to get to the second chest, how to sword fly on a titan. I'm gonna put a garden of salvation. Uh, how to get the the chest in a garden of salvation raid solo. But uh, this raid's gonna be around for at least another year, so you might as well you know if you can get used to putting this code in. And uh, going and getting you some free loot if you're a solo player, especially. Um, all you have to do is uh, come to the Dreaming City right up here, Last Wish, launch it up. You'll spawn in right here. You come here, you're gonna, there's a doorway right here, and we're gonna. Let them talk for a little bit here, and then we'll, uh, we'll make our way to the to the wishing wall. I'll show you the wish. I'll wait a second for you guys uh, to see it in case you want to screenshot on your phone or your tablet or whatever you're doing. And uh, then I'll show you how to get to the to the chest on the bridge. And you can hit this chest uh, once a week per character. And once you put the code in once, you'll have the checkpoint for the whole week. And uh, also after you put the code in and you spawn in at the area, you're... Uh, you can have your friends come join you. You guys can take turns going in and getting a chest. So only one of you guys have to put the code in. So once you come through the doorway here, I'm going to go off to the left. I'm going to go right up here. One good thing about putting this uh, code in, you don't you don't need a, any special build or, or anything like that. You'll be able to get to the wishing wall and put the wish in and get to the chest. Once you're here, you're going to jump to that white light, but this water will kill you, so just get you a little running start here. You're going to immediately turn around up to the white light. Crouch down a little bit, walk around. Up to the left of this white light. Crouch down. Walk through. Uh, once you're here, take a, you're going to come to the right. Over. All right. Here's the wishing wall. We're gonna put the wish in. I'm gonna do it as fast as I can, and then we'll stand on this middle plate here. So uh, here we go. If you already know how to do this, you can skip forward. But if not, I'm gonna try to put this in for you guys just as fast as I can. It's a uh, it's a pretty long code. I recommend just using a uh, auto rifle for this. Don't use a hand cannon with the explosive rounds or time payload or because you'll shoot it, it'll detonate and it up, uh, it'll trigger all these little circles here. And it'll mess, it'll mess your wrist up and uh, you'll just be in here a lot longer than you need to be. I'd also be careful of using a weapon with ricochet rounds as it could have a chance of. Uh, bouncing around the room and hitting one of your uh, circles here and uh, messing your wish up and you'll have to go back through all these little circles that it may have messed up. If you happen to go past one of these emblems, you can um, it, you can reset reset the ones that you're shooting at by just going all the way to the end. And what I mean by that is there's four sets of fish, four sets of snakes, four sets of like dragons, and then uh, four sets of birds. And then once you're done with that, you shoot it again, and it is it is zero 
zero this out for you if you just happen to go past it. Also, a good thing about putting this in is that it will put you at the, it's called a Shiro Chi checkpoint. And if you're wanting to do some bounties or farm, uh, I wouldn't really say farm, I guess, but like complete like exotic weapon catalyst or anything like that, this is a very good spot for that also. I, I'll, I'll point that out to you guys before we head over to the, to the secret chest. One of the reasons you want to do this is uh, anything you get from this box, it's not going to be sunset for at least another year. And it's also, you have a chance of getting uh, taken uh, specs for your weapon. They increase your damage against uh, taken, excuse me, taken enemies. And then you also, there's like taken armaments, taken barrier, uh, that you can go put in your armor and that uh like one of them uh, if you kill taken with a grenade it gives you heavy and it, it doesn't just drop it on the ground it puts it right in your inventory there's one uh taking barrier that uh it lets you take 20 percent less damage while you're when you get damaged by taken so that works amazing in prophecy and even though next season prophecy is going to go away for a few weeks at the beginning it, it is coming back so if you haven't ran it yet, I do have a video for uh, how to run a prophecy dungeon without a mic. Uh, as long as you know how to make white and dark moats, you'll be able to, to get it done. So uh, uh, check my channel out and um, you, you know, like and subscribe if you, if you like any of this content. But all right, uh, here is the, that's the wish. I always like to double check it to make sure that I have it right so I don't have to re redo this again. It all looks good. And you stand on here. And you know you did it right in the bottom left. If it says you wish to stay here forever, you know you put it in correct. Alright, wait on this bad boy to load up. Ready for the PS5 to come out. I play on, play on PS4 and it ain't the fastest thing in the world. <laughs> All right, this is the uh, Shiro Chi checkpoint. If you want to put a raid banner here, you can walk up to this door and just kill all the enemies. Once they're all dead, you just kill yourself. You'll respawn right here, you know, and uh, this is where you can do your bounties and your uh, exotic catalyst and stuff like that. But we're just immediately from spawning, you turn around. And this is where you could, you want to be at for your friends to join you. And they'll spawn right, right back where you spawned in. There is a way to jump up on this rock and over to the bridge and run down, but I just like to go right through here. I think this is a lot easier. Something can help you make a just jump up on to the bridge. Just put on your light level doesn't matter, so just put on whatever armor that you have with the most mobility in it. If you have a lightweight weapon, uh, put that on. For hunters, I use stompies and double jump. Warlocks, you can use traverse step. And uh, I think I use Burst Slide. And then the Titans, you use Line Rampart, Exotic Boots, and uh, High Lift. So uh, once you're here, you turn around. And we're going to jump right up here on this bridge. Just like that. And we just uh, follow me here on screen. Straight across. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to jump down on this ledge right here. That's where your box is going to be at. Here it is. All right. There you have it. The last wish raid first chest. Get your friends in here. Hit this thing every week. Hopefully you get some mods. Get you. Uh, you can get high stat roll armor. You can get the the raid weapons from here, which are some of them are really nice. So uh, there you have it. Thanks.